with the Queen's funeral taking place in eight days' time. Central London in particular will look and feel different to normal. The Queen's coffin will lie in state in Westminster Hall in the Houses of Parliament, with large crowds expected to queue to pay their respects. For police, it means one of the biggest security operations the country has ever seen. Well, Alison Earl is on the mall for us with more. Alison. Well, there's been a steady stream of people arriving here all day, many of them holding flowers, many with children taking advantage of the fact that it's not a school day. Well, there are lots of changes going on in this area already. There are barriers that have gone up to manage the crowds. And we now have some more detail on the schedule of events over the coming days. So we know that the Queen's coffin will be flown to London and to Buckingham Palace on Tuesday. The lying in state will then begin on Wednesday at Westminster Hall for four days ahead of the state funeral at Westminster Abbey on Monday morning at 11. Well, there's lots of effort going into the policing of those events, but also the security to ensure that as many people who want to come and pay their respects are able to, as I've been finding out. From steel structures and barriers to even crowns decorating flagpoles along the Mall, preparations are well underway for the Queen's final journey to London and the crowds taking in a unique moment in history. Soak up the atmosphere, yeah, I've never seen Buckingham Palace either, so I just thought we'd go down and have a look. I just wanted to show some respect for uh, the Queen, because, yeah, she's always been there in my life, so I just want to say goodbye and... Uh, Thank you. So we've all come together as a family for, you know, my little lad as well and also my daughter. I think um, to have this opportunity um, just to pay our last respects. I'd love to come back at the weekend, I really would, but am I prepared to queue up for two days? I don't know, I'll wait and see. We're going to see how we go. Obviously we'd like to, but if there's a lot of people up here, I think sometimes the best view to get is at home. As thousands of people and heads of state from around the world gather in central London, it means the biggest policing operation the UK has ever seen. We will be supported from colleagues from other police forces. And I can assure for those of us who live and work in London, it doesn't mean the Met Police will be moving into central London. We will continue to be supporting, responding to calls, engaging with the local communities across all of London, and we're well versed in supporting major events here in London. This is unique in so many different ways. But I'd ask people, if you're coming to London, please come in that respectful way, make the most of the moment. Please, please speak to my colleagues that will be on duty. We're here to help you in that. They'll be seen outside major rail stations and royal residences and we're being warned of more road closures in and around the capital as the nation prepares to say a final goodbye to one monarch and crown our new king. Alison Earle, BBC London.